In the past one year, we've made many videos about phone repairing. Because motherboard repair has much higher profit than parts repair. A lot of fans want to know, I'm interested in phone board repair, but where should I start? Next, please subscribe our channel because we are going to launch a series of videos on how to choose and use tools to repair motherboard and grow to be expert repairmen through continuous learning. Follow us to check it out. This is the overall perspective of the main repair tools we will introduce in this video. Rolling wind hot air gun is one of the most common tools, so when we need to use it, it was used to start a big size IC or protection shield. Because its character of slowing heating up, the heat will be lower temperature, it's more gentle and friendly for broader components. First, turn on hot air gun, adjust the airflow power, adjust the heating temperature. We can test it with a paper. After adjusting, solder the protection shield plate with the hot air gun. Straight hot air gun is also a common repair tool we see always. It has a similar name with rolling wind hot air gun. The difference is straight hot air gun heating up very quickly, and the heat focuses on the muzzle. The temperature control is more accurate, so it's widely used on daughter small IC components. First, turn on the hot air gun. Adjust the airflow power. Adjust the heating temperature. After adjusting, we can daughter IC components with straight hot air gun. Soldering iron and soldering station are used on tin desoldering, jump wire, and glue removal. Turn on soldering station. Adjust the temperature of soldering iron. Pull out some tin wire. The wire will melt into liquid with appropriate temperature. DC power supply is used to test the volts and electric current of motherboard, etc. Turn on device. Plug in anode and cathode power cable. Then we can adjust the volt and the electric current. And check the motherboard electric current status. The soldering heating station is used for separating and rejoining of double layer motherboard. Turn on heating station. Adjust to appropriate temperature. Put motherboard on heating station. Wait until middle soldering joint melt. Shake with tweezers gently and take off the upper board. The board separating completed. If the board is overheating, we can cool it down with ionizing air blower. Digital multimeter could be used to test the volt and GND status of motherboard. Of course, don't be scared by these dense setting parameters on it. Let us show you how to test if the board was short circuit or not. Turn on multimeter. It has one anode and one cathode testing cable. Plug in two cables. Adjust to buzzer type position we need. Connect the board GND with the anode cable. Connect the board components with cathode cable to test the value of resistance. Microscope is used to inspect and repair small board components. It helps us to repair more accurately and reduce the risk and the loss of repair failure. Adjust the position and height of microscope. Turn on fill light. The red rotary knob can adjust the light brightness. 
Zoom in and out microscope lens with two rotary knobs. Then we can inspect the board closely. Here there are the main tools and auxiliary tools we commonly use for body repair. We will show you how to use them in future videos. This video is mainly introducing the essential tool of motherboard repair. Next, we will keep launching more videos and show you how to start from a repair rookie, then grow up to professional or even repair master. Please subscribe our channel to learn more repair skills and stay tuned for more helpful videos.